How's it going guys? Today we are going diving at one of my favorite spots on Oahu and it's one of my favorites because the structure is incredible and every time I go, almost every time I go, I see some sort of big fish. I don't shoot them all the time, but every, um, almost every time I see big fish. So hopefully I can go today and the waves are down so that I can hop in the water, try and shoot one of those big fish that I might see and uh, make a cool video for you guys. Uh, maybe ha make a catch and cook depending on what I shoot. But I'm bringing out the gun today, leaving the three prong at home. I know the last couple of videos, I uh, it was very three prong based. So I'm switching back, going back to the gun. And um, yeah, hopefully I can land something cool and make a cool video for you guys. Uh, let me know if you guys um, want me to keep doing gun, shooting my gun or bringing out the three prong. Uh, it's really up to you. Like I love both equally. So uh, just let me know. And I also might do another, uh, for those of you who remember, I did an, a virtual dive contest or a dive tournament where uh, you could send in your fish to me and win prizes. So if you guys want to do that, want me to do that again, I'm seriously thinking about it. I'm trying to get funding to uh, make more categories and more prizes. So if you want me to uh, update you guys on that and organize another virtual dive competition, please let me know down in the comments and I will do my best to do so if you guys want. Um, I'm talking too much already, let's just head in the water.
right guys, here's the big kaku that we shot. Really, really nice fish. Um, yeah, so I just weighed him. He came in at 9.9 uh, .9 pounds, so almost 10 pounds. And yeah, he's a really nice fish. So we're gonna fillet him up and then uh, give some to some friends and family and then eat some for ourselves. And I might also uh, mount the jaws because like if you look in the mouth there, some big teeth on him. So um, we're gonna cut this guy up and then I'll get back to you guys afterwards. All right guys, so we are at the cleaning table and as you can see, we have the kaku here. Big boy. I gotta put my hand on. Oh, he's slimed. Yeah, he's a big kaku. And, um, wait for the bus. Yeah, as you can see, we had a little bit of trouble uh, putting him in the cooler. But, uh, and then here's the lie that I shot to you. Good sized lie. Great sashimi. So, um, I'm gonna cut this guy up. Let's get him up on the table. <sighs> Look at that fish. Really nice sized kaku here. So I'm gonna fillet him. Cut him up, and then I think I'm gonna mount the jaws, and I'll teach you guys how to do that. Either in this video or the next video, I'll show you guys how to mount uh, any fish jaws that you want to uh, keep as a souvenir. Like if you can't, if you don't want to make a gil taku or you can't afford to get one professionally done, uh, getting the jaws done is a good way to preserve your fish. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that, and then yeah, I'm just gonna clean this guy up. Maybe do a do a little catch and cook. We'll see. Yeah, absolute monster of a cuckoo.